Hey guys, welcome back to our brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, make a model and eventually upload it as well. I know this is a different topic of what I'm usually not like uh, talking about. A lot of but a lot of people have been having troubles with this. I used to have problems with this, so uh, if you guys are having problems, with this, this is the video for you. It's really simple, guys. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Now, guys, we need one more subscriber, and then we'll be reaching 170 subscribers. Like what? Um, but yeah, that's so cool. Um, so yeah, also, I know you guys probably noticed, um, usually I don't start my videos off of, on this scene. I'm usually already on the base play. I just wanted to show you guys something, uh, if you guys did not notice already, but Roblox, to, Roblox actually did update something, and they actually added a base plate 2021. Um, now I might do a separate video on maybe how to, like, on, like, a review on it, but yeah, not today. <laughs> uh, not this video, hopefully next video. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just going. We're, I just like using the base plate, the default one, because that's just um, this is what I'm used with. Um, but yeah. So guys, what you want to do first is basically just create your model. I mean, uh, also you guys, you have this new mode called Geometric. You guys can change the physical. I just like to keep it Geometric. I'll do another. I'll do like a video on that too. Got some new GUI stuff. These buttons, they look a lot more cooler. And uh, yeah. So yeah, let's get started. Um, now what you guys want to do, obviously make your first model. Now, I'm just going to go time lapse this. So you guys, I'm just going to make some random table. So yeah, let's get started. Time lapse at three, two, one. Alright guys, uh, I'm finished my table, um, and it's just some basic stuff, uh, yeah. Um, now guys, what you guys want to do next is actually just group it all together, so, um, uh, make sure all the parts are selected. So then you want to, you want to control G, and then that will turn into a model, and you can just name this to table. I'm just going to name it to table. Now guys, what you guys want to do next to up, now say I got my model. Now, for example, I don't want to, for example, if I want to use it somewhere else next time, instead of making it all over again, uh, what you guys want to do is save it basically. And how to do that, you got to publish it, uh, upload it to Roblox basically. Uh, so we, how to do that is right click on your model, scroll down, uh, not scroll down, but like hover down to where it says save to Roblox. Uh, there's going to be two options, save to file and save to Roblox. You want to do save to Roblox. And what this will do, just, you know, by default, the name will be there. I'm just going to keep a table. Um, now, as you can see, guys, it's going to say some, my submit button is, like, uh, dimmed out. Meaning, I can't really upload. Now, this is, even if I do these, it's, it doesn't really do much. Now, this is the problem where everyone gets stuck. Because uh, everyone just thinks, like, it, yeah, you either need premium or you just can't. Because you have to be like, some specific type of developer role or whatever, right? Um, which is not the case. Uh, this happened to me once, uh, but... Uh, what you're supposed to really do is actually just you, all you have to do is type in your description. So I'll just write table, and as you can see, guys, it is um, like undimmed. Basically, I can see it now. I can upload it. Now you guys can also change the thing to um, your group or your creator, whoever, whoever it is. Change the genre. I'm just gonna keep it all. Now allow copying. Now I do uh, whenever if you guys see it in my my previous videos when I do upload models and you guys can get them if you guys want someone else to be able to get this too you guys have to s select allow copy if you do not if this is like unchecked or unselected basically uh, no one's gonna be allowed to copy only you get they can see it but they can't like get it for themselves all right only you can so if you want you can do this now allow comments um, I usually do just like if I, if I can get feedback if um, the audience wants something better or not um, but yeah, and that's how I do it. And then what you guys want to do next is just click on submit and you should, once it says uploading, it's going to, it's going to take a few seconds. It's just like, it takes a few seconds on obviously. And then, um, yeah, it's going to take a few seconds and then, uh, it's going to send you this link, uh, where you guys can actually find, uh, your model. So there you go guys, that's the link. Um, so you can also just take this ID. I'm just gonna click close for now and what I'm gonna do next guys is actually I'm going to go to my browser um, over here 
and as you can see guys if I go over here and I just uh, go to Roblox uh, not develop by default it takes me there for some reason and uh, there you go so roblox.com there we go so this will just take me up to my home page now you want make sure your account is the same one that you use for your roblox stuff and then what you guys want to do is go to models and right over here guys i got it table it's right here this item is available in your inventory i'm going to be leaving a description this model i don't know why i would but yeah so you guys can see if it does work um so yeah that's basically it guys so hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe i'm pretty sure f to make it on sale like for robux you're pretty you, you need robux i mean not robux you need premium um so yeah i'm pretty sure you guys can figure that out or you guys comment up. i'll actually do some research for you guys so yeah uh hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe uh follow me on roblox and uh follow me on twitter guys if you guys want to see all my videos and uh, yeah that's it for the video i'll see you guys in the next video